hope this video helped you guys out link is in the description to get this overlay right now and while 2xko is still in alpha and beta this overlay will have a huge sale of 70 percent off it is 70 percent off right now so go ahead and grab it before the game comes out and get prepared let's talk about how to install your new 2xko fighting game overlay first let's go over what we have in the assets that you brought this footage examples you will not have this is just for the purposes of my video logos is also something that uh, you did not purchase from me that is Riot Games property but I packaged their logos up for you just for a convenience since you're going to put them on your overlays and stuff like that feel free to use them or not loose assets are literally the scoreboards by themselves individually attached for player one side two side the title slides if you want to build it yourself and you don't want to use my pre-made it is there for you next is the mock-ups these are just practice images on how they should look at the end of the day this is just what i designed you can feel free to do whatever you want but this is just a nice little template i have just to get you started if you don't want to do too much creative work so we have the mock-ups in there. Those are just images, just for reference. And then pre-made overlays. This is your actual overlay. So if you click on it, you're gonna see it's an empty PNG with just the scoreboards, all in different colors. You have green, at least with all the other 2XKO colors. And then you have a mix of other colors as well. You can mix and match on your own with your loose files if you like. We also have a how to use text. This is if you want to check out this video that you're watching right now. Other legal services, are you able to resell these? No, commercial use, all that good stuff. It also has details about the creatives that I did, like the font and all that stuff. So click that if you're curious about that. Same thing with legal and license. And I also have a thank you card. Thank you for purchasing and supporting me on this journey. So let's get into the actual overlays. First, have this folder somewhere nice and organized so you can easily pull from it. You're gonna open up OBS. This is traditional OBS, and then we'll go over Streamlabs OBS right after. In your scenes, you're just gonna make a new scene. I already made one right here. You're just gonna press the plus button, name it whatever you need to, 2XKO in-game overlay, for example. And then in your sources, let's uh, shrink this a little bit. In your sources, you can also press the plus button. And all you're gonna do is add image. You could call this your scoreboard overlay. Okay, you press okay. You go to browse your image files. And here we go, it brings you to the deliverables folder. You're gonna click pre-made overlay and you're just gonna select any one that you want. So let's say I want, I really like the green and blue one. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's already sized for you and it's there. Just so you can see some gameplay, I'm going to personally add a media source. So you can see how the overlay is actually gonna look. Let's bring in the logo. So go ahead, press the plus, image, 2x scale logo, and always name everything just so you can stay organized, especially if you're doing the loose files. Logo, 2x KO, let's do that and it ends up up here. Let's just drag it over to the middle. Nice. Now it's looking official. And now all we need is the text. So you go ahead and hit the plus again. You click text, GDI plus. And let's just say this one's gonna be player one. And so now you customize your text. Now you can go a million different ways with this, but I'm just gonna show you how I did it in the mock-up. Again, you can use other text files you could use uh, html css to customize this you don't even need to use obs for this size 58 and the font is going to be anton this is a google font anton regular and then we have to type something so let's just say player one i love to have it all uppercase because that seems to be 2x scales branding it's going to be all white so hashtag fffff if you want to customize any of this feel free to and we're just going to go ahead and just drag that over once it's done there we go so now that's like this the perfect name now to spice that up just a little more what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and right click this i'm gonna go to transform and edit transform this is like the secret tech the bounding type is gonna be scale to inner bounds center right 
for the alignment and bounding box and now what this means is if we shift this box now we could put it to the ends of where the name should be and if we close out it looks like nothing happened but what actually happened is now if we change the name like let's say it's two people let's say it's justin that's not how you spell justin justin wong plus marlin pie right and then like let's say it was even more than that now you see that the text is getting small within that text box so it's never gonna expand past it so this is the secret juice that you definitely gonna want to do if you're using obs well, that's player one so now let's add the score go ahead and right click copy right click paste duplicate and right click again on the new layer and rename it to p1 score and this is where you put the score let's just say zero and now if i right click and go to transform edit transform again i could resize the bounding box to where the score should be so let's just say the right of this and to the left of this and instead of center right i want it center center so no matter what it's going to be centered within that box and yeah just like that now we have the score if you double click it let's say the score was for whatever reason to like 100. now you see that it didn't it didn't get too small we need to scale the bounding box a little more on this because that's getting cut off so you can do that you just scale it give it some room give it some space kind of like that and boom now it scores to 100 but let's say let's just put it back to like three a normal number it's still going to be three so you just do the same thing on the other side paste duplicate we're going to rename it player two right click transform Edit transform to move the bounding boxes all the way over here to the right. Instead of center right, we're gonna do center left. So it's gonna be left aligned instead. And boom, now you have your player two. And let's just give them a different name. Let's just say, just in case, Yipes and Combo Fiend. Let's duplicate the score. So player one score, copy and duplicate paste. And now we rename that to p2 score and now right click that transform edit transform and we go ahead and move it to the right bounding box and there we go with more time you should definitely focus on the exact details so that everything's lined up perfectly and once you set it up once this sh you should be good to go for the rest of the time this overlay is looking great so far let's do the title slide copy paste it paste duplicate and now we're going to rename it title now right click that transform edit transform and we're going to move that over here and we actually might want to make this a little smaller let's change the name to grand finals and we're going to center center nice grand final so now that's grand final so now let's copy grand finals or rather let's copy the title copy right click paste duplicate rename it and this is going to be the bottom left title you just want to make sure at least you're just staying organized so we're just going to move this over towards the bottom you can use these numbers too if you know the exact coordinates but i just find it easier just to click and drag so i click that down there and I click the other corner down here. And now, that look, I know that looked weird for a second, but now we're down here. And it's just a lot easier to do it this way. For my biggest brands, what we've been doing is just putting like the event name on this one. For the last time, we're gonna copy and duplicate it and do it on the right. And this could be another event name if you want, or you could do Twitch. twitch.tv slash channel, whatever your channel is. And that is how you set up your overlay. Here's some extra tips that you can use as well for this overlay that's really, really awesome. So what you can do is hide the scoreboard overlay. And we're gonna add a new source, add image slideshow. And what you could do, this is really cool actually. You could do scoreboard slideshow. And what's gonna happen here is we're going to scroll all the way down and start adding our images. So we're gonna add files, go to our deliverables, go back to the pre-made overlays, and we're gonna select all of them. 
or at least the ones that you want. So like, let's say maybe the colorful ones. So like, let's say red and blue, green and blue. Let's do a green and red. Let's do a red and green. Let's do a white and then blue and orange. We're gonna open all of them. Do whatever you want. We're gonna randomize the play black, keep it on the loop. And the time between switches, we're gonna do 5,000, which is five seconds. And the transition speed is gonna be 500. Now, as you can see, the scoreboards are changing colors on the fly. Mid game, they're changing colors up top. I think this is one of the best features of my scoreboard design layouts, and you can definitely use it for your tournaments to switch it up if you want. You could totally edit the timing. You can personally do your own, if you want to use the loose files and do your own colors and, and like just make it really fast, you can do that. Let's just see an example. What would it look like if, if I did it every second? It just switched really fast. So every second, it's just switching. It's almost like RGB. Just It's just switching colors now. Now, this game's already going to be chaotic and a lot of animation. So you might not want this. But I just feel like it's a cool feature to add on. So that is how you install this 2XKO overlay on OBS. I hope this video helped you guys out. Link is in the description to get this overlay right now. And while 2xko is still in alpha and beta this overlay will have a huge sale of 70 percent off it is 70 percent off right now so go ahead and grab it before the game comes out and get prepared i hope you guys enjoy like and subscribe if this helped you out and enjoy your day